All right, today, guys, we're doing the section called linear versus nonlinear functions. And if you remember what a linear function or a linear equation is, it's any equation that can take the form y equals mx plus b. All right, and part of being a linear equation or a linear function is that your slope. All right, this slope here is going to be a constant slope. All right, or a lot of times we say a constant rate. Okay, now if you remember the formula for slope looked like this uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. We're going to use that today, all right, to determine if uh, these functions or these these tables that were given that are possibly functions are in fact uh, linear or nonlinear. Okay, so remember if it's linear, then this slope is going to be constant over any of these pairs of points. Okay, so that's how we're going to determine if they're linear or nonlinear. So first, let's decide is the following a function. All right, and in order to be a function, each of these inputs map to only one output, all right? So you can see 2 maps to 5, 4 maps to 7, 5 maps to 8, and 8 as an input maps to 11, all right? So we don't have any repetition over here under the inputs. We don't have 2 mapping to 2 different numbers. So first of all, yes, all right? We're going to put down a yes. For this, oops, I'm gonna move that up there. We're going to put uh, a yes for whether it's a function or not. All right, we've done that before. Now, is it linear or nonlinear? Well, what you have to do is you need to take the slope in between each of these pairs of points. Okay, and if they all come up the same, then you know that your slope is constant. And that tells you it's a linear function. That tells you when you when you graph it, it's going to be a line. All right, so here we go. We're going to take the slope in between. Let's do these first two points uh, first. So we're going to take our y values, which is our output. We're going to go 7 minus 5 over 4 minus 2. And what are we going to get? We're going to get 2 over 2, which is 1. All right, and then we're going to take these two. We'll do those in red here. And I'm going to do the same formula here. That's going to be 8 minus 7 over 5 minus 4. Okay, and what is that? That's 1 over 1, which is also 1. All right, and we'll do this next set. All right, we did these two. We're going to do these two. Now we need to do these two. Okay, what is that going to come out to be? That's going to be 11 minus 8 over 8 minus 5. Okay, what are we going to get? 3 over 3. And that also equals 1. So, uh, the conclusion is, since these all came out to 1, that it is a linear function. Alright, and that is really the, the whole idea of uh, of today, really, these exercises, just determining whether it's a function or not, and whether it's linear or nonlinear. And the way you do that is you take the slope between each of the points. If it all comes up the same, then it's a linear function. If they don't come up the same, then it is it is nonlinear. All right. So let me get rid of this one. Let's let's look at exercise two here. All right. I'm going to move that up a little bit. There we go. All right, so uh, same thing. Is the following a function? Well, input of 2 maps to 4, input of 3 maps to 9, input of 4 maps to 16, and an input of 5 maps to 25. So yes. All right, there is no repetition here in the input. So yes, that is a, a function there. Okay. Now, is it linear or nonlinear? Let's do that part. I need to take the slope, okay, let's put my slope equation up here again. I need to take the slope of each one of these, these sets of points, 
okay? So let's try the first two. Let's go with these two. All right, slope equals, uh, it's going to be 9 minus 4 over 3 minus 2. So I'm going to get a 5 over 1, which is a slope of 5. All right, we'll switch to red to do these. Slope is change in y, right? 16 minus 9 over 4 minus 3, right? So that is how many? That's 7 over 1, okay? And as soon as I get one that doesn't work, well, that tells me th those two slopes are different. That tells me it is, it is nonlinear. So uh, as soon as you get two that, that don't equal each other, right, you know this is nonlinear linear. All right, but it is a function, so we want to put non-linear linear function. Okay. So uh that one's pretty pretty straightforward there. And let's see, let's turn off this one and turn on number 3. Okay, here we go. Uh is the following a function? Well, 0 maps to -3, 1 maps to 1. 2 maps to 6, 3 maps to 9, so yes, it is a function. Okay, and let's figure out the, the slopes. Okay, again, I'll write my slope equation right here. That's the equation I'm going to use, and I'm going to find the slope in between these two points right here. We're going to go m equals 1 minus a negative 3 and 1 minus 0, okay? 1 minus a negative 3, that actually gives me 4, and that is over 1, so I get a slope of 4. All right, now we'll try these two, okay? And we'll do that in blue, and so what is that going to be? 6 minus 1 over 2 minus 1, all right? So 6 minus 1 is 5, and 2 minus 1 is 1, and oh, look at that. Look at that, we get a slope of 5. Okay, so right away, these being not equal, these two right here, that means it is a non-linear function. Okay, so really, this, this whole section is, is a practice at using this formula, okay? But we're attaching something with it as well. We're saying, is this nonlinear or linear? Okay. And if you really want to take it a little further, you you would know, or you could you could um, think, well, what does that mean if I graph these? If it's linear and I graph them, well, they're going to take the form of a line. Okay. And if I graph a nonlinear function, well, if I graph them, it's not going to be a line. It may be a, a parabola or some kind of uh, high high Herbola or something like that. All right, so um, we're going to graph them later, but for now, uh, I just want you to be able to use the slope formula and determine if it's linear or, or nonlinear. So that's it. All right, so thanks for watching. Have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow.